Years Later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Rocky. It was released on December 3rd, 1976. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa. What? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What year is it? So I'll be talking about Rocky. I'm not going to talk about the entire franchise because Creed 3 is coming out and I don't like talking about franchises that are still ongoing. I'll probably just talk about the first one. The other ones I'll just kind of watch kind of on my own time whenever I feel like it. But this one, 1976, it's a pretty damn good movie. It's an underdog story kind of way. Well, I don't know. Rocky, he is a scary dude, but then Apollo Creed is more scarier because, well, is he? You know, he is because he has that mustache and that afro. But this film has a very simple story. It's about a guy named Rocky, a boxer in his little town. I already forgot the town, but he's well known in his own little town and area, but proves to be a formidable fighter for Creed, and you're not expecting him to last as long as he does, but whenever he does, cool and like feel good moment, and I guess it kind of reflects him winning his match in the first scene. The film opens up Rocky winning a amateur boxing fight. He wins it, he gets like 65 bucks, which doesn't seem much, but again, back in the 70, that's probably a lot. $65 nowadays is like thousand? I don't know. Something like that, right? And throughout the film, he says hi to everyone. Everyone says hi back to him. He's like they know him and respect him so the town seems to take a liking to him but he does hang out with like the wrong boss that he has he like kind of punks people for money if his boss needs it and whatnot and then the henchman to the boss mocks him because rocky is just a guy with muscles but with no brains and rocky seems conflicted and confused about his own life he likes boxing but he tells people boxing is bad don't get into it head trauma and concussion but rocky they just love the thrill of fighting but rocky now in his early 30s exactly 30 years old i guess i'll do this because i'm good at it doesn't mean i have to like it but what he does like is this girl and he keeps, you know, saying hi to her throughout the film. Her name's Adrian. She's clearly a shy girl who is easily intimidated, doesn't want to look at Rocky in his eyes and all that stuff. He knows the brother. Her brother treats her horribly. And once they're on a date gate scene thing, we get to see development. Things that you really probably shouldn't tell a first date. And Adrian doesn't seem too keen about it. Just based off her looks, they do more talking, just kind of hanging out. This date, it was just super chill. Adrian is there for the moral support, for the emotional support. And it's what Rocky truly cares about. It's something that's missing from Rocky. Adrian is the girl. And then by the end of the film he yells out her name adrian that's what he truly cares about he doesn't even care that he fight apollo creed by the end of that fight he cares about adrian apollo creed he's not even a villain in this film he's just a businessman who wants a big attraction for his new fight so he was supposed to fight someone else but then that fell off he's like all right what is a big attraction to this big fight what about unknown and underdog who's willing to face against apollo creed rocky at first is really reluctant he knows about apollo creed but you know what i'll face him but it's also nice to see that by the end of the day he's also a businessman it's a win-win for him and not really for rocky I guess he just gets a lot of money, I guess. And so in order to prepare for this fight, Mickey trains him and everything. But the funniest part about this film is actually the meat rack. I saw this again, another reference to Family Guy. I saw this on Family Guy first. I was like, who the hell would punch meat racks? And apparently Rocky does. So he's like on the news just punching this goddamn meat rack to prove a point. Like, yeah, I'm gonna beat Apollo Creed. And it's like, yeah, but why the hell are you punching a goddamn meat rack? That to me always was really funny. He's got no locker. Might as well punch your meat rack, I guess. It's time for the training montage. Now, whenever I get to the other film, I'm really looking for to like the training montages because it seems like a lot of fun this first one is really cool it has the iconic theme that's all i knew the iconic like running theme or kind of montage i think the next movie has a running montage of the whole town following him this doesn't have that i thought it was gonna be this one because the whole town like seems to know him they're fully behind him this one is just him running climbing up those stairs there's an early scene where he couldn't catch up and catch a breath and then the fight happens it's like a boxing match in film with some really good music in there as well the coolest thing about this fight is that rocky lasts 15 rounds with apollo Creed, who's a well-known boxer, right? He's a, I'm assuming, like a champion of all time, whatever, right? People know him. Aside from the town, people don't know who the hell Rocky is. Despite not winning, he lasted 15 rounds with like the best fighter that's well-known at this time. And that's all that really mattered by the end of this film. He showed that he could stand up to the best of the best. He was just this underdog. He was just this nobody. And the fact that he got close to knocking out Apollo Creed is pretty damn good. Like that first knockout, like the first minute, oh shit, Mickey's telling him, stay down, stay down, do not get up. But he's like, no, he has to get up, prove a point. But then by the end, it's like, who cares? I got Adrian. And he's earned the respect of others within the ring, to the audience, and the rest of the world. That's what Rocky achieved by the end of this film. And also realized that boxing isn't really that important. It's Adrian. That is who he cares about. And that's what he really wants in his life. And so, yeah, Rocky, 45 years later, is still really damn good. There are some slow bits in the beginning. It's like, okay, where is this going? But by the end, you get it. You get what Rocky really cares about. It's Adrian. He likes boxing. The fact that he lasted 15 rounds within the ring 
ring with Apollo Creed, earns the respect of everyone around him, and it's a really feel good moment in film by the end. Rocky being confused on not knowing what he wants in life, but then by the end, figures out. So that's it for me. This has been The Road So Far, and thank you for watching.